Good morning guys from this amazing beach here on Koh Phangan, Thailand. For the newcomers to the channel guys, my name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, I am the guy that sold everything he had, inclusive his house and company, everything a few years ago. So went all into Bitcoin, took his family and went into a camper van and traveled the world. We are now three years later, still traveling the world, still all in Bitcoin, supporting crypto 24-7. I'm now reporting from Copagan, Thailand to you guys. In today's video, not only I am going to show you some beautiful TA charts, but also my friend Lisa Edwards is going to explain her view on the market. We are also going to look into the Ghost Project because you can now use them in Hong Kong Disneyland. Binance, because they are really preparing for the bull run because they are upgrading. Also looking at the Revel Ransom Hacking Group and who's privacy documents they are now going to auction the next couple of days and they are asking Monero what will this do to the Monero market and last but not least guys I'm going to give you some live advice because today is the day that eight years ago my wife and I got married our lives looked totally different at that time and I'm going to show you what happened after enjoy today's video guys and don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share it in your communities and hit the bell button Let's take a jump into my office. Sorry, 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 and again sorry. I need to apologize. I promised you guys today I would take you to a beautiful location here on the island, but the weather is not that good. That's one reason I can't do it. But the second reason is I already got up really early this morning to do a YouTube show with Lou Koerner, Lisa Edwards, and Sean from Hard Forking. So I already have. I already did a one hour YouTube show which I'm going to include a few parts of in this video and again the weather is looking stormy so I think that going to another place now on the other side of the island um, maybe wouldn't be the best idea. I will visit another beautiful amazing place tomorrow guys I promise um, and I really pinky promise. <laughs> How do you say this? I really promise I will take you to another amazing place on Copagan tomorrow. I'm still figuring out what place, jungle, temple, like culture, maybe even something with food or just another amazing beach. Let me know where you want me to go tomorrow and I will do this again like I did last week with the waterfall. This week I need some new inspiration of a new location. Let me know what you would like to see. If it comes to the Bitcoin price, guys, I'm not going to t talk too long about the Bitcoin price because I will edit this beautiful clip of Lisa explaining her view on the market today, not only on Bitcoin, but also on other currencies. My view on the Bitcoin market still is the same. You need to zoom out and you need to see the bigger picture. We still held the support of 9K, so we are still around 9,000 US dollar for one Bitcoin. If you look at this chart, this is the only chart I'm going to show to, to you guys today. This one, this one, you can see guys that we are making higher lows continuously. One, two, three, four, five. All these beautiful color lights, lines are a higher low. The question now is what is going to be the next higher low? As I already said in my previous videos this week, Tuesday is going to be a very important point why it's the 1st of July. For one reason, the 1st of July is my mother's birthday in heaven. The 1st of July is the day we close the monthly candle and we open a new monthly candle. And again, we need to close this candle above 9,300 to break this multi-year trend line. And if we need to break this trend line to get into this new bull run. Yes, the bull run already started for the long-term investors because I so showed you this already a few times. All these indicators have been flashing and they have been flashing to step into Bitcoin now, now because for the long-term Bitcoin is going to go up in the next two years. Short-term, so now in the next couple of two days, it's very important we close above 9,300. We are at 9,000. This is a 300 jump we need to make today or tomorrow. We have done this before with Bitcoin, man. We, I think we even saw a 1300 US dollar candle once in Bitcoin. So $300 is doable. So don't think we cannot reach this price. Everything is possible in Bitcoin. Let's see what Lisa has to say about these charts. Lisa, come in. Um, 
so this is our BTC chart. We've had a, a break of the supports that I was talking about last week. So our first support, we came down and we broke that. Um, and we had a bounce, and then we've come down again to our second support. Um, now we've got a, a very, very strong channel, downtrend channel here um, that's starting to form. So what I'd like to see right now is a retest up to this region, which is um, our all-term, all-time high uh, resistance. That is this red line that's coming down that we keep going over and then continuously rejecting. So we're still in the vicinity of uh, this region. So um, if we do get sort of a more powerful wave here, we might break through and come up again. We really, really, really need to get to this next pivot to remain bullish. So the next pivot here is 10,700. Um, so that's, that's a critical sort of point here. And we need to hold the bullish pivot if we're going continue, continuing down. So if we do reject this region here and we drop, we've got uh, a cross support on this bullish pivot, which is 8,422. So depending on exchange, it, it's gonna move a little bit. Um, yeah, so BTC right now is in this critical range where we're, we're kind of, we're still holding bullish. Um, the MAs on the daily have crossed bullish. So um, what they call a golden cross, the 100 and the 200 MA. So if we have a look, we zoom out to the day chart cross has happened here and that we're still holding this cross so uh magnets are clearly working right now <laughs> um yeah so that's that's btc so this is this is forming um quite a strong sort of looking flag at this point we have entered into this so how how a flag a bull flag works is if we enter in we leave up so um, we've got this point here that we would measure to see uh, distance as to how far we are going to go up. So if we put a wave here, so that's our pole, uh, potentially we can reach that pivot So on our exit. So uh, we're looking good. So we're potential, we've got an 11,200 sort of range, which breaks that pivot, which will mean that we are going to go to 21,000 at some point. So that's, um, it's a really critical pivot, sort of E, W, Elliot wave wise. Um, and yeah, so the rest of, and another thing that makes me think that we're still going up is, the whole entire crypto Twitter has turned bare. So, and when that happens, we go up, always. On that note, guys, <laughs> Didi, Didi, Lou, thoughts on uh, BTC right now? Yeah, uh, I, I tend to be a, a, a longer thinker. I, I think it's uh, super interesting, Lisa, to, to watch you uh, do the charts. I actually started the, uh, my career first seven years as an equity analyst on, on Wall Street. Um, you know, I've been a, a you know, long time bull on uh, BTC as well. And what I'm most excited about, uh, you know, and, and, and I think of it as uh, digital gold. Um, and what I'm most excited about at the moment is stable coins and the rapid growth of, of stable coins. I think we're going to start seeing central uh, bank digital coins as well, uh, potentially, you know, starting with the one in China. Um, and I'm really excited that that's going to be a major on-ramp uh, for much of the world to come into crypto. And then I think, you know, once you start dealing with uh, uh, stable coins, uh, the next natural thing for those people to start thinking about buying is Bitcoin. So I'm really increasingly bullish long-term about Bitcoin. Any, any thoughts on where BTC is at for you? How you see no, it? I, I am seeing exactly the same. And um, like Lou is saying, I always try to uh, zoom out into the charts. So I look to the daily, to the monthly, to the weekly charts. And, and all these indicators I've been analyzing now, it is well indicator or it is, um, you know, it's like the hash ribbon indicator. All of these have start flashing the last two weeks. And, you know, these indicators have proven in the last uh, couple of years and bull runs. And every time that these indicators start to flash, we will see a bull run. People just need to understand 
that the bull run doesn't mean that we will go up to like 100,000 in, in two days or in a week or in a month. You know, it, will take, it will take another two years maybe in total to, get, to reach this new all-time high. Um, but again, I, I agree with Lou about about the stable currency. I'm, I'm very looking. I'm, I'm very much looking into Beam at the moment because they will be the first stable currency now that will add a privacy layer to it, which which makes it more attractive to me. Because else, I still have this you know fiat feeling to the stable currencies. Too much bank <laughs> tied to bank and all that. So I need this privacy aspect. So I'm, I'm looking into Beam at the moment. But they are okay. Ethereum chart. So we are still, we've got a bounce. We'll probably come up to uh, this. This is a channel resistance. So we've broken this channel. We're now in uh, a slight downtrend channel. Uh, if we were to add some lines here, we've got this downtrend channel. We should test here, which is around 238 mark. And then we'll come down again to around two. 107 so um like the if that's providing so btc's got two patterns right now where we've got uh an abc pattern which potentially we could break through that um all-time high resistance so if that happens um ethereum will also break through this resistance here and continue higher at this point so um yeah so we've got the abc here or we could have the DE pattern um, which is two Elliott wave patterns it just makes it a, a little bit more of an extended correction so um, we've got a whole heap of futures that are releasing at the end of this week or the end of the month actually so a couple of days um, so and there, it's like the the biggest amount of futures we've seen ever to be released uh, when we had um, a whole heap of futures released, I think it was in about June or July last year. We did the, the biggest candle BTC's ever seen in one go, which was, uh, I think it was a 1200 or a 1300 candle. And um, we moved $2,000 on that day. Not all, like, but the, the first candle that released liquidated the whole entire market. And essentially the whole market, the same thing that's happened here, has turned completely bare and um, the futures released and liquidated so many people. So, um, you know, if you are trading within this range, which is, you know, very, very much so, um, if you're not scalping right now, it's, it's kind of a no trade zone. Um, the This uh, futures release is about to, I think, go up and really liquidate a whole heap of people so and, and when futures release they they are very volatile so they release in pattern so it might go up then it might go take a two thousand dollar candle quickly down so um and that's going to be sort of how we see it so if we if we go back through btc we can see these these quite big movements so you know we've got this quite big movement here which is where uh bitmex the engines on BitMEX failed and it just completely liquidated everyone. So we could see a similar thing happen. So where we go up to the, we touch this pivot, we break this pivot, proving that we're going to go into this bull run. And then uh, the whales with the features just bring it straight back down to this uh, support down here. So it could even break through the bullish pivot at this point. So, and most charts are showing that we're on sort of major supports or, and, and heading to major resistance points. So, you know, the, the way to break through those is to have so much volume that it just kills all the shorts and all of that at that point. So um, I like to refer to that as the rocket fuel that's going to take us higher. So I am going to predict that when these um, futures come out, I really see this just going straight through. Project last week. Have you uh, you got a few more gems for us uh, this week? We can have a look at. Is going to be nano. So I think we've got a, a very very strong support that we're trading right now. Um, we've got a, a cross support coming up in this region. So I really feel BTC is going to start moving higher at uh, this point. If we hit that uh, resistance on BTC, this is going to drop down obviously. 
So um, this is my pattern for, BT, uh, for Nano this week. I really believe BTC is going to reject at the resistance again before the futures are released. Um, I just think that's going to entice the bears to sort of come out and play and, you know, really to start everyone to start taking shorts at that resistance and, you know, the perfect opportunity for that candle to start like just pushing through, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollar candle. And I think it's going to be one of the most explosive candles that we've seen. So, yeah, so Nano is my trade of the week. We've got um a, a trade here uh our first movement's about 25 percent it'll drop down about 25 percent and then we'll get uh, a 60 percent move so yeah it's it's looking really good i'll put this chart up on twitter some other news guys did you read the ghost coin of john mcafee i know there is a lot of discussion about this currency some love it some hate it but john mcafee just announced that you can now use the ghost coin in many vending machines all over hong kong even in hong kong disney world you can spend your ghost coins now so john send me some ghost coins fly me and my family to hong kong disneyland because we need some pleasure after this lockdown here in thailand Koh Phangan. we need some entertainment as a family so please support us send some ghost coins to us so we can fly to hong kong spend the ghost coins there in these vending machines and show all the world that ghost coin is not just a currency for privacy but that is also a currency that you are going to use to push mass adoption in cryptocurrency usage binance guys if we talk about binance use my referral link it's down below if we talk about binance they are upgrading their software they just did the biggest upgrade in the last two years this biggest upgrade makes them 10 times faster why do they want to be 10 times faster because they know that the bull run is coming the last bull run in 2017 crashed almost all exchanges there were too many people buying and selling bitcoins and all the other cryptocurrencies and this made all these exchanges like overburn and crash and then nobody could sell or buy because they had all these break uh, fall downs now binance upgraded their software so the next bull run they have 10 times more capacity, 10 times more speed, so they can handle a 10 times bigger order book, which they think will be needed in this next bull run. I fully agree with CZ over there. We are going to need 10 times more speed for the next bull run because it's going to be 10 times as big as the last one. Some other cool news, guys, is that this Revel Ransom hacker group um, has just announced they are going to auction some more celebrity stuff. I think they are now targeting Nicki Minaj, Mariah Carey, LeBron James, Bad Boy Recordings, MTV and Universal Studios guys. So they hacked all these data from these people and they are going to auction this data. They already leaked a lot of information about Lady Gaga earlier this year and they are going to auction a lot of privacy stuff of Madonna. I think on the 1st of July, again the 1st of July, I think the starting bid price on Madonna stuff is like 1 million or 700,000 US dollar and they want to be paid in Monero. They used to be paid in Bitcoin. They shifted now to Monero because they think it's less traceable than Bitcoin. It's the Revel Ransom Auction Hacker Group shifted their focus to Monero and they want to be paid in Monero. My question now is, could this influence the Monero price? Because if you zoom out and you see this picture, so they are asking like 1 million here, 1 million there, 10 million there, 1 million there, and they all need to be paid in Monero. So what does this mean? This means so if they feel threatened and they don't want to lose their privacy on all the data they, that was hacked, they need to pay in Monero. So if all these millions need to be, in, be paid in Monero, they need to buy Monero. And if millions are going to be exchanged from US dollar into Monero, normally the price should rise because the supply stays the same and the demand for Monero is growing. So I will keep an eye on this whole hacking drama because if these people are going to, if you will see these huge transactions now going into Monero and Monero's going into exchanges, then probably these are the wallets that are going to be used to pay the revel ransom group just a thought just out the top of my head a thought maybe we should take a look at it 
a little bit closer. And guys, yesterday I promised to give away two t-shirts on the end of this day, at the end of Monday. So it will take till the end of today that I can announce the winner because yesterday's video is being liked a lot of times again. I saw many thumbs up, I saw many shares and I saw many comments. We did break the 300 resistance I asked for. I asked you guys to give 300 thumbs up. We received 300 thumbs up. Tomorrow I will announce those winners that I'm giving away two t-shirts to you guys. I am going to walk to my favorite part of the beach guys, my happy mushrooms and my palm trees. I don't know why I love this area so much. I think it's the energy that is beautiful the views are beautiful and why do I want to walk through this beautiful magical part of the beach because this reminds me to this amazing life we as a family have been living now the last couple of years and it also reminds me to eight years ago when I married my wife it is eight years ago today guys that I that we married in Holland in Venlo in my hometown city we had a beautiful wedding with everything on it she had a beautiful white dress I had shorter hair I had this beautiful suit what I was wearing the kids were all dressed up we had limousines we had a this beautiful uh, English old-timer that brought us to all the locations to take pictures to the party location we had many guests we had a live band we had everything that a cool wedding should look like I even had two bachelor parties one on Ibiza for four days and one in Mallorca for a whole weekend with 18 guys so that was an awesome time this moment of the year also always Always reminds me too that yes so many things changed in my life I was an entrepreneur very into egoistic I only had one goal that was becoming a millionaire I, I lived this strange life where my ego was the most important thing where I always want to show somebody else than I really was it reminds me to this time that I need to invite so many people to my wedding and give and spend so much money on a wedding while I could also have been very happy with celebrating this wedding on a just simple way on a beautiful beach. So I changed tremendously and not only I, my whole family changed tremendously in these last years. You know, the kids grew up, they became bigger and bigger and bigger. We are now living this decentralized digital Bitcoin nomad life. We stepped into, into this roller coaster of the media and we even become, became a little bit famous in this small niche in the market of, um, of Bitcoin. Our lives went upside down if I look to it like this. Everything, every single thing changed in my life. There is only one thing, only one thing that didn't change during all these times. And that thing is exactly what life is about. The thing that didn't change is my love for Jolie, Juna, Jessa and my wife Roman. I still love them to the moon and back. Every single minute of the day I appreciate having them around me. This is what gives me all the energy, all the power to do all the stuff I want to do. It's my family. That's why we are called the Bitcoin family. Because the family part makes it different to all the other people in this space. We as a family took this insane roller coaster ride. And our family grew stronger and stronger. And this is what I'm most thankful for at the moment. It is that I wake up every morning, my wife is next to me, she is healthy. I look to my kids every morning, they wake up, they are healthy. We as a family have been having this adventure for now more than four years almost and we are still healthy and we are still looking very positive into life and I see this change in my children because of this change of life we did leading by example. This is the thing that keeps me driving my love for my family and their love for me that I'm receiving back on a daily basis. So today I'm going to celebrate this. I'm going to give them a beautiful breakfast this morning. We are going to have an amazing dinner somewhere tonight on the beach. And I'm going to celebrate this moment in life again, because I love to look back in time and to see how much changes we have overcome, but that we still love each other as a family. Yes, maybe it's very emotional. Yes, maybe I shouldn't share all these emotions in videos, but for me, it's something that I really feel at the moment. And I always share what I feel because I want to be very honest to all of you guys over there. I will also share it when we have troubles with our family during our travels. Till now, we didn't have one. There is no wood to knock on, so I will take this wooded head. But you know, this is what life is about. 
it's about love, it's about sharing, it's about caring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe to the channel, share it with all your communities, and hit the bell button so you will be notified on the next video I make. Let's try today again to reach more than 300 thumbs ups today. So thumbs up all over the beach. I want to see thumbs ups here. I want to see a thumbs up there. I want to see thumbs up all over the place. I want to see thumbs up everywhere. If we keep breaking all these resistance in my YouTube follow subscribers, in my YouTube views, you know, this gives me also this energy. Of course, my family is the biggest energy, but you guys there leaving me comments, giving me thumbs up, telling me how much you appreciate me making these videos gives me a tremendous amount of energy guys and makes me want to give you more back and back and back and that is exactly what I'm going to do as soon as we start to monetize our channel and we are able to withdraw our monetization from YouTube I am going to share this also I'm going to show you that what I say I do I'm going to take all these revenues I'm going to share it with poor people all over the world we'll also again create beautiful content for you because you need to see that we try to lead by example. You need to see that we take the profit and give it away to people that really need it. And you can see the smile on, on those people's faces. And that is exactly what maybe will change your view on life as well. And what maybe will get you into crypto and what maybe get you into this beautiful digital nomad life we are living as a family. And yes, if you make this change, we will meet somewhere on this beautiful world. Again, thank you for watching today. Give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe to the channel hit the bell button and i wish you guys an amazing day and i see you tomorrow again bye